gentlemen, welcome to Gate 7B. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Delta. Delta, keep climbing. <laughs> this is flight number 373. With non-stop service to Tampa, Florida. Estimated flight time is approximately one hour, 43 minutes. We'll begin the pre-boarding process in just a few moments. Thank you. And remember folks, hold your loved ones close because you never know. <laughs> Thank you. Christine, that was a new ending to the pre-boarding speech. <laughs> Sorry, Joel. Sorry. No, no, let's just um, maybe stick to the script. I'm just, I'm dealing with some heavy shit. <laughs> okay. um, maybe let's just focus on getting these folks to Tampa, okay? My cat ran away. <laughs> and, and, and just, he's a scooter. You open the door, <laughs> scoops out. This has happened before. But this time feels different. It feels personal. I'm beginning to think that raspberries just doesn't like me. And, and that hurts sure. my heart. Sure. Um, well, maybe let's just not focus on that right now, and instead put our focus and energy into getting these folks to Tampa. Standing by for pre-flight checklist. Great. Oversized carry-ons. Identified and tagged. Unaccompanied minors. Not applicable. Oh, and it looks like we gotta bump someone, and the lucky winner is Evan Costas. What happened, Costas? Please come to the front desk. Evan Costas to the front desk, please. Thank you, and keep climbing. Hey, I'm Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I am sorry to do this to you. Our flight is oversold, and you were the last one to reserve your ticket, so we're gonna have to bump you off this flight. Are you serious? I can get to Tampa and go to my buddy's bachelor party. Sir, <laughs> there is some good news. There is a flight to Tampa in two hours. We've got a seat on that for you. And here is a $300 tra travel voucher for your trouble. Whatever, Delta's a fucking worse. Actually, <laughs> sir, Delta is the number three airline. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you even read the May issue of Time Magazine, sir? I don't care, I just want to get to my friends. And we're trying to get you to your friends, sir. That's what we're trying to do. Some of us here at Delta are so committed to getting you to your friends that we have foregone friends of our own entirely. Even <laughs> if we wanted them desperately. Did something happen between you and Steve? Who? Your roommate. He's not real. <laughs> No, he doesn't exist, I made him up. No, he broke his leg last week and that's why I gave you my cookies to take to him. And I ate them all and I'm sorry. So now my cat's gone and my cake mate's a liar. What? Great. You know what, I think your cat is running away from you on purpose. <laughs> Jesus Christ, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, this is a completely full flight, so there's no room for any imaginary friends <laughs> to go with you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just a friendly reminder to those of you with service animals, please check to ensure that they have not run away. But if they have, it was definitely on purpose. You are so difficult to work with. You know, you bring a stinky lunch every day and you keep it down by the desk and I just smell it all day. Well, you know what, Christine? We have had four office parties that you were not invited to because people didn't think you were cool. I'm sorry, uh, I heard that your flight was overbooked and I just wanted to volunteer to get bumped. I'm not really in a rush to go home. I lost my cat and my best friend in the same day. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the time 
I go back to Tampa, I see the ghosts of them like, everywhere. And, like, I didn't really appreciate them, you know? And I think that's, that's what life is all about. You know, you have to appreciate the people and the, the relationships that you have. It's really important. Thank you. <laughs> Christina, um, some hurtful things were said earlier, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Um, those office parties, they weren't really parties. Um, a few of us just happened to be eating lunch together in the same general area. <laughs> I admire that you prepare and bring your lunch every day. I can't even cook, you know? And, and sometimes that makes me feel like less of a woman. <laughs> Steve, you are a great woman. I wake up every morning excited to come to work for you. And you're a good friend. Steve's lucky to have you. Well, Steve's not real. <laughs> that is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Keep climbing! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's 8 7 b It's time to get on board the plane! <laughs> Who's ready for Tampa? <laughs>